Bill seeing a record month of volume in the terminal's history. Handling more than 30,000 shipping containers in March alone. So when you look at all of that, what does it mean? Well, our Ashland Mitchell joins us in the studio. And Ashland Port officials, they're saying this isn't just a win for the terminal, but for us too. That's, yeah, that's right, Lenise and Shelby. I'm told this means the terminal has more customers who are using the port to move their goods globally. And of course, more customers means more revenue. Here on the Gulf Coast, the world comes to our backyard. Thousands of shipping containers arrive and exit the port of Mobile, carrying items that stock our shelves and create life as we know it. You can find everything from forest products, which of course is a very, very important commodity for the state of Alabama, to I bet you there's a Barbie doll or two somewhere around in there, auto parts. Chief Commercial Officer Beth Branch says in March, the port saw its third highest month of volume since the terminal opened in 2008. Nearly 30,000 shipping containers were handled. That's up 27% from this time last year. More and more we're seeing that companies are choosing to use Mobile, and I think that's really what the story is. is that even though our volumes comparatively, when you look at a, a complex like LA and Long Beach or Savannah are much smaller than those gateways, but our trajectory is really, really the right growth trajectory. Branch says the port's economic impact continues to grow. You have people who are working in warehouses, people who are driving trucks, people who are operating locomotives and trains, and so all of this builds an ecosystem of jobs. Several projects are underway at the port, including the construction of new container facilities in Montgomery and Dakota and deepening the mobile ship channel. What that means really is that rather than going to another Gulf port that might not have as much depth or as much width, they'll come to Mobile first. Branch says the channel project is on track to be completed in the first half of 2025. Meanwhile, the port is also receiving some cargo after the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed in Baltimore last month. The fallout forced the Baltimore port to close. Our hearts go out to, to the folks in Baltimore and in Maryland. Branch says most cargo from the Baltimore port is being diverted to nearby container terminals up and down the East Coast. But some of Baltimore's breakable cargo, like forest products, are heading straight to the port of Mobile. It could be for any number of bulk commodities, etc. Those types of facilities are a little more specialized and they're a little less prevalent. So as shipping has changed, people have gotten away from handling bulk and break bulk cargo and they've gone into containers. One of the beauties of Mobile is that we have all of it um, here and we've maintained all of that. We're really trying to help our customers maintain the resiliency and the integrity of their supply chains by being able to handle some of that cargo. Now, the port of Mobile generates more than $98 billion annually. Live in studio, Ashley Mitchell, Fox 10 News.